Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Happy Close of the Fourth Quarter, Fiscal Year 2016. Hi, I'm Amanda B. Johnson, and you're watching Dash Detailed. First, in price movement. Today's Dash price in USD is $10. This makes for a $69.8 million market cap, a 24-hour transaction volume of $2.4 million, and there are roughly 6.9 million coins in existence. In this seven-day price chart, you'll see that the price has remained roughly the same in USD, though it's gone down against Bitcoin, as the Bitcoin price has risen significantly in the past seven days. It's often said that the two coins move inversely toward one another, however, so it's interesting to see that the Dash to USD price has held steady over the past week, while Bitcoin has shot up. Here's our three-month price chart, where you'll see that October was the tail end of those roughly 60 days when Dash's market cap exceeded $80 million, and contrast that with this one-year price chart, where you'll see that in the last 365 days, Dash's price has gone up roughly 300%. And finally, in this lifetime price chart, you'll see that Dash's current market cap is still a little higher than it was during the buying frenzy shortly after Dash was released in second quarter 2014. Next to development updates. The oft-used website DashVoteTracker.com has just added historical data to its offerings. This means that by clicking on All Proposals, you can now view every proposal that's come into the Treasury, including its yes to no votes, its requested payment amount, and how many payments were made. Elsewhere in development updates, we have a comment from Dash Core Team consultant Perry Wooden on the makeover of Dash.org. Wooden reports, we are waiting on the two or three front-end volunteers to clear enough time in their schedules to wrap up a couple of pages. Now to business news. There are four businesses newly accepting Dash. They are Legaiphone.se, which is a Swedish electronics repair store with a focus on the repair of mobiles, tablets, and laptops. Next is eCigar.in which is a global shipper of e-cigarettes and vaping supplies. Next is experience.audio, which is a sound design and music production studio for games, motion pictures, and interactive applications. And finally is cryptocloudhosting.org, which is a London-based web hosting service. Now, Crypto Cloud Hosting, as you can guess from their name, has actually been accepting Dash for some time now, but they've not yet been mentioned on the show. Also in business news is a general scam warning of various websites which pose as Dash wallets or other Dash-related projects, but exist only to steal your funds. The most well-known of these is dash-wallet.com, but there are others too that you may want to familiarize yourself with. Special thanks to Tongfa for recording and tweeting about these known scams. In more business news, it's now become clear that SpectroCoin acts as a fiat gateway for those in Europe. As you see here, users can sign up to exchange euros into Dash, and though a USD to Dash option is also offered, user reports indicate that debit and credit cards cannot be used for US customers, but that bank transfers can. If your SpectroCoin experience as a U.S. or European customer differs from either of these reports, be sure to let us know. Now to network statistics. Today's masternode count is nearly identical to what it was last week, and that is 4,221, as seen on this lifetime masternode chart. Also similar to last week is the additional full node count above and beyond masternodes, which is just under 500, making for just under 4,700 full nodes in the network. Today's hash rate has matched a former all-time high of 1.77 terahashes per second, which was first reached about two weeks ago. To put that into context, here's the three-month hash rate chart, which begins at 1.1 terahashes per second. Here's the one-year hash rate chart, which you'll see begins at 100 giga hashes. And finally, here is the lifetime hash rate chart, where you'll see that for the first nearly two years of its existence, Dash's hash rate sat at pretty much the same, 100 giga hashes. And in social happenings, 
Dash Core team member Ryan Taylor, aka Baby Giraffe, has released an extensive report as a response to Input Output Hong Kong's governance report, which was written a couple of months ago. Taylor's report covers the points in the IOHK paper which were helpful to Dash's team, points out the areas of disagreement and the reasons for them, and even points out flaws that remain to be fixed within Dash that were not covered in the IOHK report. In other social happenings, you'll now notice that within 48 hours of every Dash Detailed video being published, subtitles are made available on YouTube in Russian, Spanish, and Chinese. In addition, for any mainland China dwellers who would prefer to watch Youku rather than YouTube, which can be harder to access, Dash Detailed videos with Mandarin Chinese embedded on them will now be available to view 72 hours after every new episode is released. And now to Treasury proposals. There are 22 proposals into Dash's treasury at this time, and of them, 14 have met the threshold to be funded and 8 have not. If you'd like to know more details about each of these proposals, click the video link you see on your screen now to be taken to an unlisted synopsis video. The next payout will take place at block 598,176 or at around 5 p.m. Universal Coordinated Time on Wednesday, January the 4th. Masternodes who intend to vote should be sure to get their votes in at least 24 hours before the payout time. And finally, in current opportunities. The Dash Core team is seeking to hire a front-end developer who is proficient in JavaScript to help with evolution. Interested applicants can email andy at dash.org. And second, a C++ developer is also sought to assist with the development of Dash D. Interested applicants can send an email to evan at dash.org. And that's it for this week's Dash Detailed. You'll find links to everything talked about in the show today posted in the description below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, at Dash Detailed, and if you would like me to email you every week with the newest video, send an email to amanda at dash.org with the word subscribe as the subject line, and I'll take care of it. See you next Wednesday. A little unsure about how Dash works or how it's different from other digital currencies? Check out this six video mini-series made just for you entitled Dash School.